Hi, Captain John here. So I've had a lot of questions about my new North River. So I'm gonna try to take you on a quick little video tour, show you what it looks like. So what we're looking at here is a 27 foot North River OS. All right, so it's a great boat, extremely seaworthy. Very, very happy with it. If you start up here in the bow, you can see we have an anchor pulpit. And then we have some uh, diamond plate to protect the front of the boat. So that actually protects it from any kind of anchoring issues or even driving it up on the trailer so it doesn't hurt the, the Lowrance wrap on here. So with that, let's go ahead and if you take a look, you can see they've welded some protectors on the side here so that you don't have to worry about getting dock rash when you bump up against the dock, even if you happen to not put your fenders out. So nice feature. All right, let's move on and take a look at the motors. Okay, in the back of the boat here, we got our BRP G2 Evinrude engines, so very fuel efficient. You know, once they're broke in, right now I'm getting 1.9 miles a gallon on them, but I, I fully expect to get double that, be 2.93 miles a gallon with them once they're, uh, they get broken a little bit. Uh, we got down here, we got a couple four blade stainless props, gives us a lot of stability when we're running out in the ocean. And if you want to look down in here, you can see in the back of the boat, I have a couple transducers. So the one on the left is a standard three-in-one Lowrance deucer. So I can shoot sideways, I can shoot down. And uh, over here, I have a one kilowatt transducer. So it gives me really clear imaging. Okay, so over here we have our kicker engine. I have a 15HO Evinrude. So this is also, we nickname it, we call it the power monster. So it produces a lot of uh, charging capability. As soon as you fire it up at idle, you know, I'm charging my entire boat. So all my electronics that I run on here, everything that you're about to see on the boat, this will power it all day long without ever running your batteries down. So it's a, it's a great motor. With that, let's go up and take a look at the inside. Okay, so on the port side, you see the first thing you notice is we got a door. Kind of nice, genuine way to get in the boat. Also excellent for dragging coolers in, dragging tuna out. Okay, so on the stern of the boat here, of course you can still see the Evan Road G2s. All right, so they're back here, 15 horse kicker. And then we have a big rigging table here. All right, so we've got knives, cup holders, cooler over here, so great. We can put extra gear up inside here in these storage compartments, so it works out really well. And then we have three Scotty downriggers, the high performance. The Fish Fighter products uh, here, holds our rod holder, slides. We got my riser here with my rod in. We're gonna do some cool videos on this. This actually holds your flasher, holds your gear. You get a fish on, I can pop this off and slide it right off the rail and get it out of the way if I want to net a fish. Uh, it's going to be a really great accessory. So more to come on Fish Fighter products in the future. Okay, and then of course downrigger balls down below. Here we have a Defiance bait tank. So that's plumbed in, ready to go. So got some rod holders there. Stern station. Kicker motor controls are over here on the starboard side. We'll, we'll eventually have a set of main controls up here. Just, we're still waiting for them to get in. And then above, we got some nice rod holders up above, so we hold quite a few. Got rod holders on the side over here. And of course, place for two salmon nets, so always nice to have a couple. So let's take a quick look in the cabin. All right, kind of looking forward here. All right, got a rigging station right here. First thing you see on the port side, some more cup holders, binocular holders. Got tons of drawer space in here. I can open this up. These all secure, really great. You can keep all your tackle and stuff in here. So we're ready to go, whatever fishery we come to. We got a seat here with a little table. On this side of the boat, we got another area here where we can set up gear and set up a little shelf for phone charging. And a double seat back here. Okay, with storage, lots of storage in this boat. We've got a refrigerator down below. All the deck compartments lift off. Really cool feature. And you come up forward here. And we got a glove box, air ride seat. All right, and then we have over here on the driver's side, another air ride seat. Binnacle controls. Two HDS 12 lives. So we'll show you those when we get them out on the water. And then, of course, all our switching panels are up here. All right, so all the lights. Uh, we got a Wallace heater over here. Trim tab controls are down below there. All right, the Evinrude gauge is up here. 
fuel gauge. We also have fuel electronic fuel gauge, and we have a digital, I mean, uh, analog fuel gauge. So both work pretty well. All right, let's go to down below here. Again, more storage. Some of the autopilot stuff is mounted down in here, and then you can see up front here. Kind of cool. Let me show you something really cool up here. So this boat, this is where the electronic cabinet is in here. You can see how well it's wired. North River and Marine Installations did a great job on this. So here we have a Simrad S5100 sonar module. And we have an expansion box down here. All our equipment is wired right here. Everything's labeled completely. So if I come in here down the road, and I can't remember where something is. Every wire is wired. So that's kind of the way you want to do your boat. Real easy to find stuff. All right, kind of looking towards the back of the boat again. From here, we're gonna go ahead and head out to Westport here in a day or so, and give it a try on the water. So we've got a rod rack mounted up the boat here. And if you can tell, I'm just a little excited. <laughs> 